name is Julie Alini Serrano, but I go by Julie because it's easier to pronounce. Yeah. Um, I'm a freshman and I'm 18 years old. Um, I guess I came to Rutgers expecting everything to be like perfect since I've always had my parents around, so they always helped it out. So the transition was weird. Hello, I'm Lana Calhoun. I'm graduating in 2017. I'm a junior and I live off campus college. Up. My name is Deandra. I am 21 years old. I am a senior and I live off campus off Cook. I always say that I'm not going to need my parents, but like, I do. And I was hesitant about going to Rutgers because I live an hour away and I'm like, that's too close, but that's actually kind of far. Like, my roommates live 20 minutes away. Um, Definitely call on my parents more, not, mu not so much for financial support, but for moral support. Mm -hmm. In the sense that, like, I now understand, like, the struggle of what it's like to be an adult. And so I would be, like, calling my mom, like, hey, mom, like, I just got off work. Like, I'm so tired. Like, I know how it feels. Like, but oh no, I have to stay up all night and study. So it definitely creates like a greater bond between my parents and I, because now like they're no longer seeing me. They are still seeing me as their child, but they're now seeing me as their adult child. I'm personally like, really close to my family, so I like, I call them like every day or every other day. And I like to see them at least every two weeks or so, whether I go home or they come here. My parents and I are just in like a very shifty place in our relationship right now and it's like they are trying to open and talk to me and like they want to do weekly check-ins and I just get annoyed and I'm like I don't feel like telling you my whole life story every week like I feel I feel no need. <laughs> it's not as much emotional support because I feel like I get that through my friends here so I do feel like my friends act as a family here. It's like my parents like aren't really my parents anymore you know it's just like just they're treating like, me like a guest instead of like someone who lives there. So it's just like they're catering my every need, and I'm like, what's wrong? And they are emotionally supporting me, but like, I do end up calling them more for like groceries and things. Not when I'm like upset. I'd like rather talk to a friend who's here, and I think that's helped building my independence that I don't rely on them emotionally. I think Rutgers is more of my home now. My home when I'm home will probably be my home over the summer, not like now. Does that make sense? It's the same thing with me. Whereas it's home, but it's not really home in the sense that now I think of New Brunswick as my home. Now like every time like I think okay I want to go back to my own bed it's my own bed in my own apartment that I bought whereas like the bed my parents bought. Like when I do go home it's like oh I'm rushing home because I ran out of tokens to do laundry so I'm just gonna do laundry at your place mom. I always find myself needing groceries and my mom's like she's Filipino so like she'll she doesn't want me to like be starving she'll bring me like two orange juice and like two oatmeal like to everything but so like it's weird because I feel like I'm independent but at the same time I'm not a real adult because like my mom is still just an hour away. I would always come home and there would be food on the table and like my mom would do my laundry and it was just like folded on my bed and like everything's just so perfect and then I come to Rutgers and my room is a mess and the dining hall food sucks. It's like it's still the whole like I'm latching on to them my parents will probably help me and I feel really bad for asking them because I completely just wasted my money. So within the next few months, I would, li I would really like to see myself like, get a better hold of that to the point where I don't have to be crying to my parents about how broke I am. Because I know I could do it if I do cut back on certain things, but that's still like the childish nature in me to like, get whatever I want without thinking about like, the repercussions of it or of my actions. The older I get, the more I'm like panicking a little bit about it because I don't realize how much I rely on them. It's definitely better. It's not like high school where they tell me what to do and this and this and this, but like in terms of things I really need, like I do need them. And now that I'm graduating in a couple of years, it's like, what am I going to do when